Welcome to a Lean Stacks instructional video. This video is part of the Angular Fundamentals series. In this video, we build upon the Angular demo application, incorporating the ng route module. We will illustrate how to configure the application router and create routes that include parameters. I have opened my file explorer. I previously downloaded the AngularJS distribution archive and unpacked it. Copy the Angular route minified JavaScript file to your project lib directory. I like to rename the minified JavaScript file to include the version number so that months from now I can easily determine which third-party dependency versions I'm using. Now I'll open my editor and navigate to the source main app directory. I'm going to open the index page and add a script tag for the Angular route library. Next, open the application coffee source file. We need to add the ng route module to the list of application dependencies. Just below the application module definition, use the config method to configure the application route provider. The config function is called when a module is loaded, and as its name implies, configures an application component. Use the route provider's when method to define individual routes. Each when function maps a route to a template and a controller. Use the route provider's otherwise method to define the route to use if hash value in the address bar does not match any configured route. Return to the index HTML page and locate the main content section. Remove the ng-include and ng-controller directives and add the ng-view directive. The ng-view directive uses the route service to replace the contents of the main content area with a template and controller configured in the route provider. Let's run the application to test these changes. Open a terminal window and change directory to the project base directory. Type gulp space run to start the local web server on port 9000. Open a new browser tab, press the F12 key to open the developer tools, and select the network tab. Enter localhost 9000 slash index.html and press enter. As you can see, the application looks the same as it did at the conclusion of the last video in this series. That is a good thing. If we made a mistake implementing the router, the list of greetings would not be displayed on the page. Look at the browser address bar. Note the hash symbol, or pound sign, immediately after the index.html page. Everything that follows the hash is the name of the route used by the route provider to determine what content to show. Let's return to the application and create some new views, controllers, and routes. In the source main app partials directory, create a new template named home.html. This will serve as the initial view, sometimes called the landing page or landing view, for the application. I'll paste in some content and quickly review it. The view is wrapped in the Bootstrap Container Fluid Div and consists of two rows of content. The first row is the view heading, simply entitled Home. The second row is split into two equal columns. Each column contains welcome text describing the project, 
and the welcome text contains a few examples of Fawn Awesome icons and Bootstrap Typography CSS classes. Since the home template is a static view, meaning that it does not have content rendered from dynamic expressions, we do not need to create a controller for it. Let's return to the application coffee source file and update the route provider configuration for the home template. Add a when function for the home hash route. The function only needs to declare the template URL and not a controller. Also, let's update the otherwise function to redirect to the home route, making the home template the default view for our application. Let's run the application once more to test the home template and router changes. If we look at the terminal window, we left the gulp task running while we changed the application. Notice that gulp monitors the file system for source code changes and automatically deploys them to the distribution directory. Open the browser and return to the index page. Notice that the router's otherwise function automatically redirects to the home hash route and displays the home view. Let's create one more new view for the application. Let's make each item in the greeting list clickable and show the details of the click greeting in a new view. Open the editor and create a new template named greeting-detail.html. I'll paste in the template contents and review them. The view consists of a bootstrap container fluid div with several rows. The first row contains the view heading. The second row is a button toolbar for the view. The single button provides a link back to the list of greetings. Notice the href attribute updates the hash route to the value we map to the greeting list template and controller. The remaining rows display the individual attributes of a greeting. Next, let's create a controller for the greeting detail view. Open the controller's coffee source file. Just beneath the greeting controller declaration, create a new controller named greeting detail controller. The controller has a scope, route params, and greeting service dependencies injected into it. The route params service provides access to parameter values included in the hash route and query string parameters. As you will see in a moment when we define the route for the greeting detail view and controller, a route may contain parameter variables. Within the body of the greeting detail controller constructor function, the greeting service get function is used to retrieve a single greeting from the server using the greeting primary key identifier value, which is passed into the controller as a route parameter. While we're updating controllers, let's rename the greeting controller to greeting list controller. Since we now have more than one controller used for greetings, let's ensure that explicit names are used for the components to improve the maintainability of the application. Now let's update the route provider configuration to better understand how route parameters are defined. Return to the application coffee source file. Add a new when function that maps to the greeting detail controller and template. The greeting detail route is a URL template. Parameter variables are prefixed with a colon. When the route service detects this route in the address bar, the value in the URL is placed in the route param service as an attribute named greeting ID. Our controller obtains that value from the route param service and uses it to retrieve a greeting using the greeting service. 
Let's also update the route provider to rename the greeting controller to greeting list controller. Let's update the greeting list template to link each greeting to the detail view. Open the greeting-list.html template. In the table body, wrap the greeting text in an anchor tag. Set the value of the href attribute to the route for the greeting detail view. Include an expression that uses the greeting's primary key identifier in the route. If you have watched previous videos in this series, you may have already guessed that the greeting service will search for individual greeting JSON files numbered by primary key identifier. We previously used the query function to return the greetings.json data file. As you can see from the greeting service resource URL template, the service will search the assets directory for JSON files. We need to create the three greetings as individually numbered JSON files to simulate the response from a real RESTful web service. In the source main app data greetings directory, create files named 1.json, 2.json, and 3.json. Within each of those files, include the respective greeting JSON object. Finally, let's update the navbar in the header template to update the menu items. Open the header HTML template. First, let's update the anchor tags for both the brand text and the home menu item to use the route for the home view. Next, let's create a menu item for the greeting list. Let's run the application once more to test the greeting detail components. The gulp process is still running in our terminal window. Open the browser window again and return to the main index page. Click the greeting list menu item. Now the list of greetings contains links to the greeting detail view. Try clicking each link. In the Browser Developer Tools, the Network tab shows the application makes an HTTP GET request to load the individual greeting from the server. Using the ng-route module allows you to decompose your application functionality into smaller sets of features. Be thoughtful about your application design and how to employ the Angular router to create standard route patterns. A good route design helps promote a good high-level controller and view design. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the Lean Stacks YouTube channel and follow the Lean Stacks Google Plus page to receive updates as new videos are published. As always, you can find more information on LeanStacks.com.